welcome back, and good evening, everyone, to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 3. It's me, your host, Logic Blade, and uh, we're going to jump right into Chapter 3 here. Uh, last time around, we uh, hunted for some pirate's treasure for a musician, and uh, we stopped some crooks from trying to take over Ferris's mall. You know, just young capitalist stuff. In any case, we did a bit more, but uh, Twitch decided to eat my recordings by constantly cutting out, so I lost most of that. I'll have to redo that again. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to load up a save real quick here. And, uh, we'll go back to the fight with Wallace, because uh, he, wants us, he wants us to do some training, so we're going to hop right on over there. I remembered how to actually fast travel. Fortress? soldiers here to start this quest. Oh, it's you guys. Are you here because you saw the request? Yes, we'd like you to explain the details. It seems you want us to engage in a simulated battle with the recruits. Yes, even though the integrated army is made up of the elites from each district. With all the new soldiers, we're short on someone, we're short on manpower for training. And so, the Brigadier General requested help from someone to train the recruits. We were hoping you could help us with training during this busy time at the conference, in order to raise morale. I see. That does sound interesting. <laughs> Sounds like General Wallace understands the practical applications of war. Yes, the famous Black Whirlwind is an outstanding military commander. As one would expect from the right arm of General Aurelia herself. In that sense, the prospect of a mock battle with students from General Aurelia's school is exciting. Long ago, those two had a match that was never settled. <laughs> Think of someone going head to head with that monster. The Bardia Spearmanship School. Seems like I'll need to take a closer look at it. And it seems we need to update our data on it. Well, the Brigadier General is busy, so I don't think he can observe the training. But it would be great for the troops if you could accept. Only if you have time in your schedule, that is. We understand. This is your training, so I'll leave the decision up to you guys. Right. Well, the opponents are just soldiers, so it won't be much of a challenge, but... I think you might be underestimating them a little. Starting this quest, we'll begin a battle with a tough enemy. It is recommended not to prepare not just the students, but Reen as well. We accept. This will be a good experience for us. I want to work hard with other rookies like me to get even stronger. <laughs> That's great. Well then, we'll lead you to the training ground. Please, follow us. Quest, Army Practice Battle Started. After that, the students of Class 7 entered the training ground and fought the new recruits over and over. While fighting each other, they pushed the recruits back to their heart's content. That's enough! Ah, not bad. We were barely able to hold them off. <laughs> Same here. That's what we'd expect from the students of General Aurelia. 
Well, she doesn't train us directly. Though she did during that Soldot training. The Thor's Branch School. They're a promising lot, as I expected. No, your recruits are quite impressive as well. Ah, looks like you guys are having fun. Oh. Brigadier General, sir! Good day, sir. It's nice to see you. Thanks for your invitation. <laughs> no, I'd have to thank you for accepting. This is a great opportunity. Seems like they were able to hold their own during a battle. Alright, increase your focus for next time. Right. We'll keep improving, sir. By the way, I'd like to thank you for that information you gave me last night. It's actually very useful. The Red Constellation, Zephyr, even Needhog. <laughs> of course, I never expected the Northern Jaegers to be at work here too. Yes, I'd like to inform the guild about that as well. He definitely has a certain aura and charisma about him. <laughs> it seems like he's very well supported by the soldiers under him as well. He is known for being a top-class general at such a young age, after all. Yeah. Huh? Ash? Oh, it must have been hard for you to come all the way here from Sutherland, sir. And now you're here in place of the Rakshasa, being a pawn of that vulgar Marquis. How's that going for you? Oh. Wouldn't you like a chance to relieve some stress? Say, by showing me the spearmanship of the so-called Black Whirlwind. I'm curious to see just how strong the right arm of that crazy woman is. How rude! For a mere student to challenge the Brigadier General. Why do you always do stuff like this? You're being way too reckless. No, this is a good opportunity. We fought that woman four and one in the Soldots at least. And Schwarz and Randolph were barely able to take her. But how about us? Uh, well... We were completely defeated. So, is this about revenge, then? I mean, here he is. It is her right arm, after all. I'll fight him alone if I have to. I know it's reckless, but... It's a rare opportunity to fight someone so strong. Yes, we were ba barely able to handle the Soldot training. <laughs> Well, I think we know how this fight's gonna end. Jeez, you kids. <laughs> They're more passionate than I thought. I'd say it's your influence as well as Aurelia's. Well, I'm honored, I guess. Very well, then. I'll be your opponent. But if we're doing this, I'm not gonna hold back. Is that okay? <laughs> Perfect. Show me the strength of the Bardius Spearmanship School. <laughs> I'd like to see what the Black Whirlwind has got. Preparing for combat. It's five on one. You're free to fight at will, but I'll stop it if it gets too dangerous. And you may begin. Let's go. Right. Reduce Wallace to 10% of his health. plan will be to try breaking, but I don't know how well that'll go.
I don't I don't know what that does. Four turns of strength up. That might be worth it. We'll see how this goes. Oh damn, he actually hit Kurt. That's uh interesting. That is the downside of, uh... Breaking him before he's, uh... <laughs> I love art support. Alrighty then. And this should uh, finish the deal off. If not, he does have a burn on him, so... That should be the last bit of damage, I would hope. In any case, this is my second time around fighting him, so I, uh, I'm aware of more of his tricks. The Reen fight will be the harder portion of this, but uh, as you can see, we handled that pretty, pretty smoothly. Got some link levels for our troubles. And a few levels for Ash and Yuna. That's enough! Wow. That's strong. Just a bit more. No, we're not even close. <laughs> not bad, kids. You showed me all you got. As expected, the generals. No, Schwarzer students. Thank you. <laughs> we were able to persevere, at least. Well, whatever the results, everyone fought well. Thanks for lending us your strength for training, Brigadier General. Nah, it was good for me, too. But, Schwarzer, are you alright with that? Huh? You caught my eye a long time ago. During the Northern Campaign, the General and I decided to have you fight on the front lines. And after all, he snuck into the capital of Lask and seized the top brass of the Northern Jaegers who were being controlled by the Society. You went all out to protect the citizens from the rampaging dolls and then lost consciousness. So as a result, the General and I entered the capital. Ugh. Instructor. So that's what happened. I'd heard the rumors, but... Shh. Hmm. Seems you've become able to control that power from back then, to some extent at least. In that case, this is the perfect opportunity, don't you think? Hmm. Thank you for the opportunity. I will learn from it. Oh. Instructor. Oh, the Ashen Chevalier and the Black Whirlwind, one-on-one. -on -one. 
Although, I still think I know who'll win. I think I'm back. Uh, if the quality is a little diminished, uh, it's just because I had to reduce my settings. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. If not, I don't know what the hell's going on. In any case... Let's do this properly. The only thing our brave points are useful for in this fight, because we can't chain them together, is to build up green stacks. We're gonna try to break them. We'll see how well this goes. Oh. Wow, how dare you. Looks like we're in a sticky situation here. Jeez, that's it? Okay. I won this fight before, but uh, now I'm not so sure. Really not doing well in this fight. Ugh. remember this one taking me a couple of tries last time, so we'll see if I can uh, handle this properly.
And I can only hope that this is enough. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. He's just recovering too much health for me to get him down to half health. Nope. I blew it. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm just dead. God. Seriously, I did this before. Why can't I do it now? I guess the plan is try to break them. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what I can do here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Sorry, I guess you're just gonna watch me die to Wallace over and over and over again. Oops. You know what? I have a save where I actually beat Wallace. Why don't I just go back to that one? No, I wish. Anyway, I'll just show it off, but uh, we lost here. There's no script translated for the loss, but that's enough. <sighs> Can't believe I lost. Huh, that all you got? Oh, come on. <laughs> what a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're actually saying, but I can guess enough. General, thank you very much. I think I've taken a step forward thanks to you. I'm glad to hear you say that. I had plenty of thoughts about that battle back then. And I'm sure the General does as well. Right. But we made our decision. 
to protect the decimated military and to act as the vanguard of the government. And I will continue to carry that mission out. You too should continue your own part during your time at Thor's. Right. So yeah, I'm just getting this. I, I did beat him. I swear I beat him. Just, it's gonna be lost to the sands of history. Ugh. Thank you very much for helping during our training in such a busy time. We learned a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking a part in, our, in this combat training. And we got to witness an incredible fight at the end, too. Uh, well, it's alright, I guess. <laughs> is that all you can say? Ash has always been a little bit rude. <laughs> so you'll be in the city this afternoon, General. Yeah, there's lots of things to do today. I plan to consult with Marcus High Arms, Lord Eusis, and Lady Angelica. And as he technically controls the local forces here, I'll plan to talk to Lord Ballard as well. Well, I guess. We saw that dude in Rackwell last night drunk out of his mind. I just don't think he can work as the next Duke. <laughs> well, that's just our opinion. Best of luck with the remainder of your training, everyone. Thank you. Well then, please excuse us. <laughs> that was a bit more than a regular combat training. Yeah, but we got something out of it. There must have been a way to get through that monster's defenses. I think it's nearly impossible with our current difference in strength. <laughs> Seems like you've run into him on several occasions, Instructor. Yeah, that's true. I didn't directly cause the problem in North Ambria, but I do feel some closure after getting them involved. Instructor Reen? Uh, that's good, at least. Eh, that's pretty high praise from a guy like that. It was a really good fight. Yeah, you guys fought well too. But we should continue with our special training, okay? Right. Army practice battle complete. And we received the Wind Bell for our troubles. As well as 4,000 Mira. We don't get two extra AP, we only get one, but I'm gonna load my good save after this, so. Once I get caught up anyway. Oh, there's a call on the Arcus too. <laughs> Must be from the members of the accounting division. Oh, right. This is Reen Schwarzer of the Branch School. Sorry, Reen, can I ask you a favor? Eusis, what's wrong? Isn't the conference about to start? Yes, Marcus Hirons just arrived. And Lady Angelica did this morning as well. Lord Ballard is late, but that's to be expected. It seems like it should be fine, but... It seems like it? What's wrong? If, if you need something, just say so. Have you guys seen Milliam? Huh? What do you mean? Actually, she went out last night after eating dinner. She said that she found some kind of clue, and that she'd be back in the morning. Oh, that's... It's already after 10 a.m. That seems way too late. Huh, <laughs> she's not one to hang out till late? No, well, she is in the intelligence division after all. This is quite rare. And she's not answering on her Arcus 2 either. It's bothering me, so I figured I'd give you a call. Understood. Can you give us the details? Can we meet before the conference? Yes, I have a little time. Please, head to the palace in the city. I have some ideas myself. Finish up your remaining training activities first, though. I'll see you soon. Hmm. That's concerning. Should we head there right away? Yeah, Yusa said to add some theories. We might get some useful information, so let's finish up our required activities. Understood. Let's head back to the city after we wrap it up. 
Right. So yeah, that was good fun. Good, clean fun. Anyway. We have something to do in Rockwell, so... Let's shoot on over there. Huh? It doesn't look like there's many people here. Yeah, and practically nobody's here compared to last night. Like I said earlier, nighttime's what it's all about here. Those guys from the clubs are probably sound asleep right now. I see, so that's how it is. So the tourists are just beginning to bustle now too. We need to head north of the city, right? That's where the cryptid-like monster is showing up? Yeah. We should not consider it to be in the same class as the monsters on the road. If we need to face it, we should be completely prepared before we do. Right. Understood. Wasn't that Bracer Sarah headed this way this morning? We might be able to get some info about the Jaegers if we find her. Right. She's probably in a bar somewhere. Well, why don't we take a look? Alright, I better pick that up before we go. So, let's go pick that up first. Because as you can see on the map, there's a uh, green star Ashes house. And I'm going the wrong way. Because the city is a goddamn maze. Hey doggy. Anyway, check out the green star here. I better not forget this. Ash took the photo. Oh, you're taking it? Did you want to put it in your room at the dorm? I forgot it in the hassle of all the school procedures. Never thought I'd make it back here for training, though. Heh. <laughs> oh, of course, you need to decorate your room properly, after all. You should put in your waterproof case in your survival kit, just in case. Yeah, I got it. Aw, oh, that's sweet. He needed his photo of his mommy. What a good boy. What a sweet, sweetheart he is. What a sweet boy. Ash is a good boy. That's a good boy, too. Yeah, I'll talk to this guy sweeping up the uh, hotel here. Not that it does anything. And let's just charge out the exit here. So, after this, we'll be heading for that monster. I heard about the road to the north of the city. It's a genuine canyon road ahead of us. And there's monsters everywhere. I've never even thought about going out this way. But even if this one's a little big, it's just some monster, right? Shouldn't be a problem. No, we actually fought two different types of cryptid in Crossbell. Yeah, Ash certainly does have that, uh, appearance about him. <laughs> it's certainly in a much higher class than the monster we were asked to fight yesterday. Oh, this might be fun, then. I heard that the Pleroma flowers were blooming around the monsters. Yeah, but that just happened in Crossbell. Those flowers were blooming two years ago during our Civil War, too. Well, in any case, it seems like it'll be a tough enemy. With our current combat strength, can we handle it? 
As it said in the request, we could leave it to the army to handle as well. I'll leave that decision up to you. Hmm. Well... After starting this quest, you'll be heading out the north exit. So, let's just charge right on in. Alright, have you made your decision? <laughs> Are you heading out to take out trouble at... What? <laughs> Are you heading to take out a troublesome adversary? Oh, hi, Sarah. Instructor Sarah. Huh. You did show up. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. How are you? Sounds like you headed here this morning. Yeah, I just had some information I need to report to the guild. But it seems like it'll take a while to get a response, so I've got some free time on my hands. How about I company... How about I accompany you? Huh? We couldn't ask you to do that. Nah, <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Why would we need a bracer? No, she is much stronger than we are. <laughs> Seems like we wouldn't even need to lift a finger. Hmm, I think I know what she means. Well, monster extermination requests are sort of the guild specialty, you know? How about I come to just check out the monster from a distance? Is that okay? I'm personally a bit concerned. You're concerned? Oh. It's up to you guys, but it's fine with me. We don't know what this we don't know what form this monster has. Having some insurance might not be a bad idea. And it would be a good opportunity for all of you to see a first class fighter. Someone who's even stronger than I am. Flattery will get you nowhere. I'm not really sure I'm actually stronger than you now. <laughs> now in terms of strength or my career as an instructor, I'm not even close. Well, I think it's fine if she comes. Ash, are you okay with it? Huh, <laughs> whatever. Please, show me the strength of the famous purple lightning. We'll be counting on you. <laughs> And tell me all about Reen's sordid past while you're at it. <laughs> of course! Would you stop that already? Anyway, we should head out. Right. This road feels kind of desolate. I heard this road was once bustling when it was a main road. Well, I don't know how it was in the past, but these days we just take the train. The terminal in this direction heads to Jurai. So you can see some trains heading that way. Jurai is in the northwest. It's a special economic zone like Crossbell is now, right? Yes. The city is a bit smaller, but it's pretty crowded. Anyway, let's head to the spot the monster was seen. Oh, right. Here. Here's the map. Huh. I'm not too familiar with this area. I just came here when we were fighting those bandits during the Civil War. What did you actually do to them? <laughs> I heard you were pretty vicious. <laughs> well, why don't you take out that cryptid like you did those guys? Sounds good. I'll take care of it in no time. <laughs> she sure knows how to get him riled up. Anyway, let's begin our search for the cryptid. We can always regroup in the city if it gets too tough as well. Make use of Instructor Sarah and I, and let's carry out this request. Sorry, make use of Instructor Sarah and me. It's important to be grammatically correct, and I messed up there. My fault. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. Quest, Cryptid Hunt started. And now, it's a good time to load our save. Because as I mentioned before, I did do this. I did actually get this far.
But my stream was like, no. No, you don't want to get that far. So, jump ahead a bit to the end of the map here. You didn't miss anything, trust me. Just a few treasure chests. That's... I see. So that's the rumored monster. Uh... That is the... Sorry, I want to see what it's called, actually. The Uru Kagnon. Okay. It's another type of cryptid. Eh, that seems like a tough opponent. Well, yes, but... Why are there Pleroma flowers in the Empire? Those are the incorporeal flowers, particular to Crossbell, right? Did the guild get a similar report, Sarah? No, not yet anyway. But I did hear that the cryptids and the magic knights from the Empire showed up in Crossbell. Toval was worried that the reverse might be happening as well. And it sounds like he was right. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually Raikou from Pokemon. Just like how the flowers are blooming right where this huge thing showed up. That's right, but I've never seen the species before. We need to be on guard. I'll leave the timing up to you guys, but we need to make sure we're totally prepared before rushing in. Understood. Let's get ready and then challenge it. So, I just want to make sure I'm actually ready. Eh. My craft points are a little low on Kurt, but... Whatever. It's fine. I've got Reen, I've got Sarah. Let's kick some ass. Maybe. Oh, he faints. That's lovely. Break here, if we can. We can't. It was worth a try, though. And just like that, it's broken. Rune its day. I probably should have saved my uh, points a bit better than that. Oh well. This is fine. This is fine. Look how fine this is, guys. supposed to be a challenge?
Because it doesn't seem like it. And just like that, we are done. So much for a challenging opponent, huh? And we even got some Mask Quartz leveling up. Serene's Force Quartz is level 6 now. Got his last art. 18 CP for kill. 4 CP a turn. That's incredible. God, I just have so much CP now. Uh, Muse's Virgo Quartz went up to level 6 as well. So her water casting time has been cut in half. And, you know, a few more things like health recovery from water arts. That's sort of fun stuff. And level 4 for the support ports. Woohoo. And level 6 for the scald ports, so... Even more health damage. And even more health recovery. That is some good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, new craft for Altina, too. That guy gave me a lot of experience for, uh... Not a very hard fight. Eh, not bad, you kids. So that's the purple lightning. Shit, she's pretty overwhelming. That's the strength of Narank Bracer for you. I see. So this is the flower that started blooming in Crossbell during the Independence Rally. This crimson color definitely reminds me of the time that castle emerged. Yes, both incidents are over now, so why are they blooming now? In any case, there shouldn't be any more danger. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, let me take a sample for the guild. Should we scout around the vicinity? Right, there could be others around. Yes, please secure the area. Well, fine. I guess we should, since we're close to the city. Let's split up and check. The team split up and searched the surrounding area, but there were no more signs of the flowers. So they decided to head back with, to Rackwell with Sarah. Thank you so much for helping us today. It was a great experience to fight alongside an A-rank Bracer. You're definitely a rougher fighter than I heard. <laughs> you guys are really well trained though. Well, make sure you get the most out of that instructor of yours from now on. That's the plan. Actually, I'd like him to make the most out of me. Oh god. <laughs> Muse, no. <laughs> But seriously, thanks for coming along. It was a real help. Can I leave the flower investigation to you then? Yeah, you guys are pretty busy. Let me look into it in your stead. Alright then, good luck with the rest of your special training. I'll be at the bar in the hotel, so give me a call if you need anything. Oh, she's such a cool woman. So adult. <laughs> she has a different kind of appeal than Major Claire. In terms of being an old lady, though, I'd say Valestine's a bit higher. Hey, you jerks! I can still hear you, you know! Whoops, guess she has sharp ears, too. No, you were just talking way too loud, dude. Yeah, that was totally your fault. In any case, our required requests are complete now. Good work, everyone. Right. Well then, 
Let's continue our mission. Cryptid hunt complete. And we got 4,000 Mira. So yeah. That worked out pretty well. I'm gonna make another save. And it seems like uh, dropping my stream quality seems to have done the trick. I apologize to everyone who's dealing with this in 480p, but uh, sacrifices had to be made. Apparently. Because normally my internet runs fine enough to run 720p, at least in... Uh... But uh, today, not so much. So, what can you do, right? Anyway, I'm looking for... Is there a... Uh... There should be an orbital factor or something here. Probably in here, the Icaros Mart. Yeah. Because I should have enough Sepith now to open up a few more slots. Okay, I could probably open up Ash's slots. I'll get Altino's first. Just because I like Altino more. Got a problem with that? You can fight me. <laughs> Everything's okay? Excellent. That's good to hear. So I just have one slot left for Ash to unlock, and I should be all set for all set for that. And I got a lot of random Sepith pieces or Sepith math masses as well. <laughs> so yeah, this guy seems to be doing well. See if he has anything uh, useful for us in this regard. A few weapons. None of them I don't already have. I'll buy some shoes for Yuna. And I think, uh, yeah, I'll give Altina some as well. Nobody needs the armor. And these are just a bunch of random accessories. All right, should be good to go. So let's uh, see what Eustace's uh, situation is, because it sounds like Milliam's gone missing. And that's not good, because if someone can handle Milliam, then uh, they're definitely a big problem. Out of that, or she just got lost and is, uh, you know, Having fun somewhere. Maybe she's goofing off the, at the casino. So, let's uh, check in at the cap at the uh, palace here. Oh, you must be those Thor students. I heard of you from Eusis. If you're ready to head in, please go ahead. But make sure not to interfere with any of the conference proceedings. So. We're just gonna head right on in. Sure is a nice little powwow here. Use this, everyone. Ah, you came. You decide to call them? Hey, I haven't seen you guys since the break of dawn. <laughs> Long time no see. It's good to see you again, Your Excellency. Long time no see. It appears that your class has gained a few more members. So, why did you call all of them here in such a hurry? I'll explain it myself. This is sort of personal. After all... Oh my god, is Yusus dating Milliam? No, I hope not. That would be a betrayal to Machias. Yusus explained to everyone that Milliam has been missing since last night. Orion is missing? Hmm. I did hear something to that effect. 
at a time like this, it is rather worrying. Have you asked around the area? Yes, I've contacted the Intelligence Division and the RMP. But no one's had any clues or information, and they were even asking me to get in touch with her. That's... That's definitely not a good thing. Seriously, what is she doing? Al. Please leave Milliam to us. For a member of the Intelligence Division to go missing at a time like this, there's a good chance something large is going on. This is going to become the main focus of our special training. Are you ready? Of course we are. An incident going on in my hometown is concerning to me as well. So we'll change the content of our training to a search for Milliam. Everyone, 